So why Stonehenge? Um, this quilt actually is the one that started it all. In fact, uh, when I got the idea to do the Stitching the Globe show and decided that the UK was going to be my first location, um, I immediately started thinking about places I wanted to go, what pl kind of things you guys would like to see. And one of the places that I immediately thought of was Stonehenge because Stonehenge is such an iconic UK you know, location and place and thing. So um, I immediately started playing on my EQ program. So I had drawn up this, this was the very first pattern. And before I'd even decided to do any patterns for any of this, uh, this one came out and I had it sitting in my folder and it was, I mean, it was all worked up, but I hadn't decided to actually complete it yet until uh, Northcott Fabrics put out their basics line and it was the Basics Stonehenge collection. And I just went, oh my gosh, light bulb moment, Stonehenge fabrics, Stonehenge quilt, at Stonehenge in the UK. I mean, it has to be done, right? So that's what I did. I reached out to Northcott and um, they were like, hey, yeah, we're gonna send you some fabrics. Let's get this going. And I made the quilt and we took it out there. Um, Jan and Jennifer and I took it down to Stonehenge. Um, and it, we had an amazing day. But so what makes this, why I designed this the way I did? Um, couple of reasons, the colors. So the silver, of course, represents the stones um, and the circular formations, obviously, the stone circles. Um, but the black, uh, I get asked about that, why black? Um, the black is one, um, it's representation of the withering of the stones over time, um, but also because of the um, the ravens. There are ravens all over Stonehenge, so that's also why the black. Um, and of course, it's a great contrast to the silver. Um, and then the greens, the greens of course were um, for the meadow, because like I said, the Stonehenge is one just giant meadowland that's out there, or meadows and um, farms, all that, out in that area. So then the design. Um, so obviously the circles, like I said, the stones, but the straight lines. So the straight lines represent avenues. Um, the stone circles, one of the things that they have in common is there's usually some sort of avenue or entrance into the stones, and it's a straight shot walkway. Um, they call it the avenue at Stonehenge, and it's it's pretty pronounced, especially if you look at it from above. Um, you can really see where that avenue is. Um, and that was, you know, of course, where people would walk up to the stone circles to enter into the circle area um, to do whatever they were going to do, whether that was to pray or to meditate or whatever was their, their reasoning um, out there. So that's where the, the straight lines come in. Uh, and then, of course, the stars, because Stonehenge and most stone circles, um, a lot of them anyway, align with either solar or lunar um, phases. So you have uh, like the Kalanae stones aligns with both solar and lunar, um, like the midwinter um, sunrise and sunset, midsummer sunrise and sunset on the solstice, uh, things like that. So that's where um, a lot of them are aligned that way. So that's where the stars come in. Um, and I think, I think that's it really. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot going on um, interpretation wise into the, the Stonehenge quilt. Um, but yeah, that's where my inspiration and, and that's where the quilt came from.